So the Omicron variant has many more mutations on the spike protein than any other variant. The vaccines give antibodies against the spike protein. So basically, the vaccines don't bind as well to the spike protein on Omicron due to all these mutations. Higher levels of the antibodies are more protective. Lower levels, the same levels that protect against Delta with you know, less mutations on the spike protein are not adequate to give you know, high levels of protection against the highly mutated spike protein on Omicron. So the, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines appear to be you know, 85, 90% protective against infection in immunocompetent people. Those same two shots are only 30 or 40% protective against getting infected with Omicron. With the booster with Omicron, it takes it closer to the level of protection offered by the initial unboosted series against Delta. From early in the pandemic, we talked about droplets versus airborne. The most contagious virus that we typically deal with is measles. Just walking past somebody in the airport, you can get measles if they're contagious. We've always felt that the coronaviruses were not nearly that contagious by airborne transmission. There's some data that Omicron is very contagious by airborne, maybe approaching measles. So there's a concern that we're just going to see lots of cases of Omicron. It appears to be less severe, but if we see lots and lots of cases, that still could put people in the hospital and you know, cause illness in people and stress the healthcare system. I am strongly advocating getting immunized and getting boosted. That's the way to go.